Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is my first ever video on YouTube and I'm doing a random facts about me video. So I'm going to do about 20 to 22 facts about me so that you guys can get to know me. Um, fact number one, my name is Maggie Kambai Malambo. Two, I am about uh, 1.56 meters tall. I'm not, very, I'm not very tall. <laughs> okay, so I am number two in the family of three. And yeah, guys, second bonds. We rock. <laughs> yeah, I was born in the 90s. Um, so I am a 90s baby. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to sing. I'm, I'm not a good singer. I don't know how to sing. And I don't sing. <laughs> I don't sing. I love poetry. Guys, I really love poetry, you know, everything poetry, I'm there. Yeah, I really love poetry. There was a time in my life when things were really bad and it's that time that taught me to trust in the power of words. It's that time in my life that uh, that I really learned or that, that really taught me to, to trust in the power of words. And um, from that time, poetry has been my thing. And in, in university, I, would, uh, I used to do spoken word poetry a lot. Um, and uh, yeah, I used to do, I used to do, I used to do, yeah, I used to do. So I love poetry, I love spoken word poetry. You know, I would, I would always uh, search my favorite poets and just see what they're doing and just see how they do things. And this period really taught, it, it really taught me uh, to trust in words and it really taught me how much words can do, how much impact words have on our lives. As I am a mom, yeah, and I love being home. I really love being home. Yeah, I can stay home the whole day, the whole week, the whole... Uh, I just love staying home. And I really love quiet places. My place is like in a farm setup. Yeah. So I really love being home and um, I love quiet places. It's good to be in the, in, the, in, the, in the central place in town and everything. But I really love it in the countryside. It's really, it's the best place for me. And it really brings out my personality. It brings out the best in me. It brings out uh, the best potential, my best potential. And so I really enjoy it in quiet places. I love gardening or farming generally. I really love gardening. And at my place, I have a garden where I grow fresh vegetables. I have them fresh. And the thing is, guys, you can, if, if you have space at your place, you can try something. You know, it's good to eat healthy and at least it, it, it even gives you a sense of pride when you know that you, you, you're eating a crops that just grew from a backyard garden or from your garden. I think, um, it's really the best thing and I would advise everyone to embark on that garden journey and just, you know, you might not know. Maybe it's your thing. You might just find a cake in it. <laughs> I love talking to myself. Yeah, look, it not in a crazy way, but yeah, I, I really enjoy my company. Like, I, I don't I don't feel bored. Like, okay, guys, um, I love natural hair. I really love natural hair. I've, I've been on this journey from I don't know when, but... Um, I'm really enjoying it and I think it's the best thing that has ever happened to me. I love discovering people. Yeah, I'll, I'll just maybe just go and just type in, no key in, uh, the great people. I love um, reading and just knowing how people, how other people merge it and I really get inspiration from that. I really find that very interesting. Even you guys, you should uh, have a culture of reading at least when you find time, just in time at least uh, read a book, go to a coffee shop with your book, having the just that time with books i think it's a great thing because when we read we get enlightened when we read we get empowered when we read we just get the knowledge that we are supposed to get as human beings and books are everything guys let's read and guys i love praying my day starts with prayer and ends with prayer because you see i believe when i pray i get empowered i believe when i pray i get strength i get so much power and i get the energy that i need to go about my day so praying is really part of my thing and i really love it so even if there's one thing that you feel when you do you get that power you get you get that strength hold on to that and please don't let go Okay, the most embarrassing moment of my life, guys, was um, okay. It was um, this this guy at work. He came at my workplace, and uh, I I used to see him on social media together with the wife. And so when he came at my workplace, him I helped him what we needed help 
or with or on and I helped him and after that I asked him to say I asked him to say I know asked him to say I know you from somewhere. I was like, Oh yeah. Actually I also know your wife. So I was like, Oh you know my wife? Oh that's a good thing. I was like yeah. So I don't know if I said we're friends, I don't know what I say, but yeah I said yeah I, I said I know his wife. And the next thing I saw after a couple of days he came at work with his wife guys you know, I, I never really met the wife like physically or in person. We've never, we, like, we never met. But um, this person I just, we just met on social media and Facebook, Instagram, and everything. So this person now came and said, Hey, Maggie, I have a surprise for you. Come on, oh, surprise my wife. Oh my God, you guys. It, <laughs> it wasn't things. I felt like they, they're going to just open up and just swallow me. It was the most embarrassing moment because the wife was like, You know me? Like, have you ever met? It's like, oh my god, oh my god. I don't know what really happened, but hey, it happened. Yeah, and you can just imagine the shame. Whew. Okay, guys, so it's, it, yeah, it happened. And I love helping people. Yeah, I love help those that find themselves in my corner. I really love helping those that I can reach out to. It's just part of me. Yeah, it's just part of me as a human being. I really find peace in that and I really enjoy that. And I love dogs, you guys. I love dogs. Oh my God, I love dogs. I had a lot of dogs growing up, but right now currently I don't have any dog, but I'm, I'm planning on getting one. I don't know when, but um, hopefully soon because I really love dogs. Please, I love dogs. Yeah, and I love flowers, guys. I believe flowers make the earth beautiful and flowers just bring this freshness to the earth. Oh, my favorite author. Okay, I have a lot, but I'm going to share one. One of my favorite authors, uh, I love Chimamanda Ngoza Adichie. Guys, this this woman is just, is just everything. Yeah, she, she is a breath of, 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 of freshness. She is just this bomb that the world needs at this particular time. She's just, she's everything. Yeah, she is a great author. I, I read her books, I read her books. And I think I'm sharing some of her books on this channel. Yeah. And uh, I love to tell my story. I, I really love telling my story. You see, I believe my story is a story of hope. It's a story of... Um, of motivation it's a story of inspiration so i really love to share the my, my, my uh the difficult moments that i've uh, that i've encountered and everything i'd love to share with people so that at least people would know what I, I i went through and how i handled such situations maybe they might get a few things and apply to their situation or something like that so guys let's share our stories and let's change lives let's touch lives because you see sharing is caring and guys, uh, above all, or having said a lot, this channel, channel guys, is about faith, motivation, poetry, and everything books. So if you're a book lover, if you love everything to do with faith, uh, motivation, and poetry, then you are on the right channel. So let's be together uh, on this journey. Even we turn a lot of pages as we see our lives in the characters of books and everything. So let's just um, hold on and don't forget to share, to like, and to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. God bless.